When I grill vegetables, I always look for good quality and good looking produce. So today I found beautiful red bell peppers, some really great looking Japanese eggplant, nicely tight wrapped heads on the asparagus, zucchini and yellow squash, and some cremini mushrooms, and of course, scallions. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by prepping the vegetables that take the longest. And in this case, it's gonna be the red bell pepper. And they add a beautiful color to my arrangement. They're sweet and delicious. I'm just gonna take out the seeds. I'm just having them. I'm gonna drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil, salt and pepper. So they're flavored before they even go on the grill. And they're gonna take about eight to 10 minutes. And the skin is gonna have this wonderful smoky aroma to it and it'll tenderize the flesh. It's gonna be great with my steak. Next, the Japanese eggplant. Now, the reason I love these is because the skin is really soft and tender. Depending on the size, you can have them or cut them in three strips, whatever you want. Let's do zucchini. A little yellow from the squash. Okay, we've got some asparagus. As soon as you snap them, you get the fresh stock. You can grill just about any hearty vegetable. In Italy, they like to grill endive and radicchio. They cut it in half and just put both sides on the grill. It's yummy. And then we're gonna do some cremini mushrooms. And cremini mushrooms are actually baby portobellos. They have a fuller flavor than your average uh, cultivated mushroom, but they're not quite as meaty as the portobellos. You know, I prefer grilling green onion because it's sweeter than regular onion. Got all my vegetables. I want to drizzle them with a little bit of olive oil so they don't dry out on the grill. A little bit of salt. and freshly ground black pepper. And then we'll season them again after they're done grilling with uh, a little vinaigrette. But this is just the base layer of seasoning. Okay, my veggies are prepped. I can feel the heat waves coming off the pan. Let's get grilling. If you don't have an outside grill or these grill pans, you can roast them in the oven or put them under the broiler. This is a perfect way to get people to eat vegetables. They're light and the grilling gives the vegetables a really great flavor. an assortment of colors, and that's what you want to look for when you would do grilled vegetables. These grill up really quick too, so you want to add them right at the end. So let's make the vinaigrette, and we're going to use about three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar. It's sweet, and it's going to go great with our vegetables. And a couple tablespoons of olive oil. That's about right. Some salt, some freshly ground black pepper, and a garlic clove. So let's mince a garlic clove. All right, so now for some fresh herbs. Liven up these grilled vegetables, bring some fresh flavor to them. We're adding rosemary and some fresh flat leaf parsley and basil. Here we go. Just chop it all up and we'll throw it in there. Simple. And now we're gonna drizzle it over our grilled vegetables. My friends are gonna love this.